the the dongle for the Resolve Pro version. Okay. And so one dongle, and it's got the ID in That's there. That's what this is, right? Yes, this this bad boy is. I don't know what you tell me what this is. Oh, it's a mixer. It's a mixer. So look, oh. we got a new computer in here at the studio. This is a 27 inch iMac that has been beef caked. Beef caked. Absolutely beef caked. I'm about to turn it on. Are you guys ready for this? No, I'm ready. Please work. Oh man, this is so anticlimactic. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I see it. I see something happening. Uh, see, I um. Oh God. Okay, this is the startup. Oh hi there, by the way, guys. Um. I built my own PC uh, back in March, okay. and which was not this one. No, I wow, holy shit! But the so. black magic with the oh, this thing has been decked out by black magic itself. Bro. Yeah. Okay. So oh, this isn't even on. Hold on a minute. Actually, hand me that USB mouse right over there. <laughs> oh. We yes. are already screwing up. No, 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 no. Here you go. Can you plug her in? Get that. I'll plug her in. Let's see. Oh, we got nice mini mini USBs. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right, we got to make sure we go. Oh, here we go. Woo, there we go. All right. Look at that. Where's the... Uh, okay, what's the first video game we're going to load? <laughs> well, I'm not loading a video game. I'm trying to figure out how to... There's no thing at the bottom <laughs> I'm just here. Just kidding. There will be no video game playing here. Oh, well, you know what? That'd until, be... Until after 7 o'clock. Okay. Well, we could do <laughs> streaming in here, and the Wi-Fi is fast enough. So. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Just hey. don't know if these things are fast enough, but... We're going to find out. Um, I don't know how this thing particularly works, but I basically have it digitized on my PC back home. USB, so, yeah. This is a USB-C connection. Yeah, so we could just connect that to the USB then. Wouldn't it oh, here's work the, better? Yes. Okay, we got USB-C cord. Sweet. Here. Thursdays have quickly become my most productive days because there's a group that's a client of Tom's. They come into the studio. We're working on like three major projects at once. And one of them includes me helping out with the digital marketing for a really, really nice singer. I'm gonna promote her. Down in the description, I have her channel. She's a good singer. No, I mean, it's a big project. So I'm really looking forward to working with her because you know, I haven't done one of these things since I lived in Arizona in terms of working with musicians. So we'll see what happens. Today is always a sad day. You want to know why? First beanie day of the year, I can no longer go to the beach and see beachness without hyperthermia. Don't get me wrong, I like October. The weather in October is always really nice here and I don't have any allergies compared to October in uh, America, but this summer has been kind of wickety wickety whack. So, for obvious reasons, I mean, it rained a lot in July. A lot of my friends left Japan. The weather's been kind of weird. I was gone for most of August, and those are the only reasons why this summer has been kind of whack. As such, I feel like I didn't have much of a summer this year, and I didn't get, my, I didn't do much that I wanted to do this summer. So. Makes me kind of sad, but also makes me really want to do a lot more stuff next year. So hopefully uh, next summer is it like this year's summer where we have a lot less rain this next summer. <laughs> you know, I'm hop skipping and jumping around everything you guys. Uh, You know what, this really sucks. I haven't worn this beanie since last year, obviously, or since earlier this year. Look at this thing coming apart. That's the latex. I thought this was like worms or something, but these things are just, this is just a completely wrecked beanie. Sadly, uh, oh well. Into the trash. This beanie too, why are my beanies wrecked? What happened here? They were just sitting right here, where my other hats are. I don't, I don't get it. I'm so lost. Morning. I'm at Tokyo Dome. It is raining profusely, and my bag will not stay on my back. Okay, there we go. I have to go here 
primarily to get a beanie for my head. If you've noticed me or my fashion sense, I usually wear sports related stuff on my head. And um, this is no exception. There was no game today, but I'm going into the G shop. They really missed the chance of calling it the G spot. I'll call it the G spot. This is all they have in here though. At least at this store, they don't have any uh, winter caps. Nice ball caps though, but no winter caps. Okay, that store didn't have what I was looking for. So I'll go to the other, there's a pro shop down here. Right by the Shack Shake. Shake Shack Shake. I didn't see these either. Wouldn't you, I mean, I have a Reds, you know, a couple Reds ones, an OSU one, and where's my uh, Yomiuri Giants mask, right? I mean, I bet if I looked online, they'd probably have stuff, but I don't know. Okay, here's the Shack Shake, and there's an Under Armour store next door. I'm gonna go inside the Under Armour store. My wallet's already screaming at me because Under Armour's expensive as <laughs> over here. Okay, they didn't have it in there either, but there is one more place called the Ballpark Store, right over here. And hopefully they have something. Hopefully. My ears are cold. There's a hell of a lot more stuff in here, but they just, no knit caps. Holy crap, 37 time champions or the Central League. Lots of Shohei stuff here, but there is no Akiyama stuff. My man Akiyama don't get no respect, does he? Well, that's disappointing. They didn't have any knit caps. I, I bet once November rolls around, they'll probably have some, but damn, that sucks. That's why I came all the way over here. If I wanted the Shack Shake, I just would have went up to ABC. <laughs> oh well. Oh, you can't see me. Okay, I'm in the Pongi, kind of, Azubu Juban, Pongi, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, I got to this building here. My friend's having a birthday party, she invited me. And um, I am fisting a can here of drinking smart, as you can see. Nice view, except here's the problem. The elevator only went up to the fifth floor, so I walked up to the seventh floor where the party's at. And this door, oh shit, hold on, let me turn it around. Door's locked. <laughs> and now I'm stuck. <laughs> I had a feeling this is exactly how this party was going to go because it was planned by the same chick that organized that tacos party where we ran out of tacos. I got to stuck one of that chick's parties, man. Her parties are just f***ing disasters. <laughs> I'm not even there yet. <laughs> okay. Turns out the party was on the third floor, not the seventh. Also, f***ing 1,500 yen for a highball. What the f***? Oh my god, that is excessive! That is unreal! That's just, that's a crime, man. I'm going down to the Kombi to buy something to drink. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude! Holy shit! Every goddamn party I'm at, with that chick who's organizing this stuff, it's, it's a goddamn disaster! It's like a f***ing war crime, man! Ugh! I gotta stop going to stuff by this! Chick, but she's the only one organizing stuff these days because nobody else wants to because of the damn pandemic. So I'm like, <clears throat> damn it. Well, that party was ridiculous. At least some by the brew dog by Iron Rapungi. Haven't been here in a long time. This is the Jay Walker IPA. This is one you gotta kind of drink slowly because there's a lot in this thing. So, you know. It's good. I was walking by here, there's so much noise. I'm like, what's going on? They're either drilling or they're about ready to get into this thing and go to an emergency. I think. I don't know, but they're yelling. Oh, they just stopped. That was really loud. That was like really, really loud. Good morning, Corvette. How are you today? You're looking pretty as always. <laughs> this weather. 
sucks. It's cold and it's rainy. It's not even like, you know, remember, it's, this is the depresso rain. This ain't even fun rain. This is just ugh, rain. You know what I mean? I wish in this town when it rained, it rained, not this bull crap. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, there we go. The second tower crane is almost completed. They just got to put the boom together. As you can see, that's what the boom looks like. Meanwhile, tower crane one lifts a basket into the air. There it is. I don't know where he's putting it. Looks like the tall tower crane, the one already completed, is being made or is being used to make the other tower crane. You actually see the boom down there. I'll zoom in. My microphone's gonna sound like crap, but yeah, there it is. So they're using that to uh, put the other tower crane together. Okay, I just left this Taiyaki place and I'm starting to walk back towards the station. That is a condom on the ground here. Oh God. I'm in Ikebukuro, by the way. Right in front of this here vending machine, there's just a condom on the ground. I, I, I don't, I don't want to go anywhere near it even though my hand's like about a foot and a half away from it, but like, holy Jesus. Come on, Ikebukuro, what are you doing, man? You're drunk as hell. <laughs> anyway, here's my taiyaki. It's got chocolate in it. Usually taiyaki's got anko, but today we've got chocolate. Cause I like chocolate. I'm also really freaking hungry. Hey, up it goes. They're putting the boom together now, look at this. I've never seen this happen before. That's how they hoist the boom. So the big crane is putting its brother's um, boom together, I guess. This is pretty neat, isn't it? A little bit more. You got this. You got this. There's three dudes on the boom right there. One guy's standing on top of it. They're feeding them a wire now. I'm gonna zoom in, my microphone's gonna change. I don't know why my microphone changes whenever I zoom in. There we go. Oh, I see. So this guy's feeding it through the top of the thing there. That pulley, is that pulley right there? That pulley system. I don't know why we need two tower cranes over here though, I mean. For, the, for a lot this size, one is sufficient, but seeing this thing get put together is pretty cool. I don't know when they're gonna hoist the rest of it together. So they got one pulley put together, it looks like, and then they're putting the wire back over there, I think. This might take forever, so I'm probably just gonna get going, and when I come home after work today, I'll just take a look at it. <laughs> Yeah, this is taking forever. I'm gonna go to my office and I'll come back and take a look at it when I get home. <laughs> well, just as I'm leaving, it got interesting. That blue crane right there is carrying a piece that's gonna be used to make that thing get taller. But that's basically it. That's all that's happening, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're gonna get this thing put together anytime soon, so I'm gonna go to work. Morning. I'm in Yogoku. That's the sumo hall. I'm a bit early. I meet my friend now, aka, well, my friend I go to museums with. We're going to the Edo Museum, which is over there. I haven't been to the Edo Museum since I was in college, when I went for a circle trip. And I'm a bit early, so I'm gonna walk around here a little bit. But yeah, this is uh, this is also known as Tokyo Sumo Town. As you can see. Sumo Town, I guess. This station used to be a terminus station for the Sobu line. That's why it's kind of shaped like this. And they built this connecting line right here, which goes towards the Chuo Sobu line. But yeah, this, uh, this area is right by the Sumidagawa and uh, I think over that way is where the sky tree is. I'm gonna walk around here a little bit. 
See if I can find some chanko nabe. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just gonna find a restaurant that sells it. Also, most of the heya or stables, I guess they're called. Uh, most of the sumo heya are over here in this area. So um, you may see some big old dudes walking around, I guess. I smell stuff. I don't see anything. I might've just walked past something actually. Oh, here we go. We got some chanko over here. Chanko Edo style. I mean, these places are sort of marketed towards the gaijin, obviously, but you know, whatever works, right? That's what that is right here. This area sure does smell like food. I'll say that. They've got like, there we go. More chanko up there with the sumo wrestler uh, image on it. Yeah, this whole area actually smells like food, which is kind of funny. I mean, some of these, um, I know some of the stables around here, they have like windows where you can look in and watch them train and stuff, but um, I'm not entirely sure where those are. I'm not even bothering and looking, I'm just walking around. This little road's called Yokozuna Yokocho. <laughs> okay, I actually give up. I'm gonna look for one of the stables. There's like one over here. So I'm gonna go down there and see what I can see, I guess. I'm gonna try to stay out of the way as much as I can. This place actually looks pretty authentic in terms of Chanko Nabe. Something like this looks pretty expensive, actually. Some of these dudes have big old hands. Never mind, mine's about the same size. <laughs> I could, I could do sumo with this hand. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, here it is. That's a stable right there. <laughs> yep, that's a sumo stable. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's literally it. It's very nondescript. I don't know who's fighting out of there, but that's basically it. This museum is gigantic. So I got in. Here's the ticket. There's Nao Chan. She's fixing her camera. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It says Kumade. It's got a lot of motifs of Tokyo on it. As you can see, it's got Tokyo, Sky Tree, and a bunch of other stuff on it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's what this says here. Oh, it's Tori no Ichi. That's right. This must have been expensive to make. This is the famous Nihonbashi replica. This museum is huge. Asahi Shimbun. <laughs> yeah, there, over there is the Olympic thing, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is like a model of someone's house, and honestly, this doesn't seem like it's that different from today's house. <laughs> if you think about it, this looks like someone's like 1K apartment. Not much in the way of privacy. Edo Jidai Konbini. Right now, Chan? <laughs> they kind of blocked this place off as coronavirus prevention. Yeah. There we go, we got fish. Stuff I cannot eat. <laughs> This is so cool. What's going on? <laughs> you like my new ride? This is my new whip. <laughs> so that was really cool. I got to learn about the history of Tokyo. Did you have fun? <laughs> That's now. Who's my uh, museum friend? Which museum are we going to go to next? I don't know, maybe the National Museum? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> Remember back in February and March when there was like a toilet paper shortage in Alchon? Oh, yes, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I find it ironic that they're selling Japanese toilet paper that smells like yuzu, or green tea, sandalwood, hinoki, like... This stuff would have sold like crazy back then. I'm trying to figure out how much they are. 
Yeah, there's no price listed, is there? I don't no. see it. This is kind of ironic and funny at the same time. <laughs> Japan feeling on your ass. 330 yen for one roll. That's not bad if you think about it. Because I remember I bought a roll at the during the shortage for 700 yen. Wow. Yeah. Hey, they finished it. And also, um, the big one became the small one. <laughs> the newer tower crane is actually taller than the older one, so... I guess this one's the small one now, is it? <laughs> well, it's the next morning and um, I think they're making him taller, even taller. <laughs> I just got a smoothie from in there. They had the fire alarms going off. I was like, wait, what's going on? The staff were just like, uh, nothing's going on. I'm like, okay. I went to place my order. And the thing goes, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and now the alarms go off here. I was like, holy shit. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> That's not working. Okay, here we go. Mm. That's the good stuff. All right, I'm going home. Oh yeah, it's Wednesday, I have to edit today's video. I have, I have no Yaruki today at all. All right, see y'all later.